Welcome back, everybody, to the final episode of Dead Rising, the Deluxe Remaster. In this one, we're going to... This is the final stretch. And I apologize if the last few episodes, my voice has been intolerable. This is the last one. So if you're here, you might as well watch the rest of it. Um, but I've been sick and recording in bulk uh, because there are other things on the horizon that I got to keep my eye out for and I got to work for those. But we're going to do it. We are taking the last or I guess the first step forward into the end. It has been one hell of a ride and I can't wait to finish it out. I can't believe I got as many of these as I did in one pass through. I did not expect it to go that well. There are a few things like I wish I could have got just a couple more survivors out. I wish I hadn't missed four portraits, four of them, dude. Like who could like who could I have like forgotten? And if there's 78 versus 50, like I just don't understand. But the eight female survivors, there's there's legitimately, I mean, you could do it in one playthrough. You would just have to go back to a previous save after you did it. Um, because there is no way to do it without saving, essentially. You need to kill like a number of survivors, of living male survivors, in order for female survivors to like pop up. Um, I did I did get four out of eight, and I ex escorted five at a time, but Besides those, um, yeah, you, you kind of, I mean, you, you really can't do this amount of zombies within a single playthrough and do all the other shit, you know? Um, maybe you could, but you wouldn't be able to save any survivors. So it's kind of a, tra it, 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 there's a trade deal. And I am just happy with the amount of progress that we already have done. It's, I, I mean, it's pretty insane. I, I did not expect to do anywhere near this good on a single playthrough, let alone my first one back. But anyways, let's get on with it. Once we have all of the queens, there's no turning back. Make sure you have enough weapons and food with you. Are you absolutely sure? <sighs> I think so. You're going to inject me with that, huh? Okay, Doc. Let's get this over with. That thing's still full. At least I won't have to worry about turning into one of them for a while. Hopefully. And thus started Zombrex. Okay. Next on the agenda. Figure out a way to get the hell out of here. While I was isolating the hormone, I managed to identify a pheromone that suppresses the attack instinct in adult parasites. In other words, the zombies don't like the way it smells. If you give me a little more time, I should be able to produce some of this pheromone. They think it smells bad? You think we could use something like that to keep them away from us? That's... We could just walk right past them and get out of here. In theory, yes. Either way, it's certainly better than nothing. There was a cave. Outside, where the helicopter crashed. It was packed with zombies. I mean, shoulder to shoulder. But it may lead somewhere outside. If it works, your anti-zombie perfume, it could keep us safe in that cave. I'm kind of curious. What do you say? You ready to get the hell out of here? I don't know that there is a particular reason to go by there that. Won't be enough of this pheromone to waste it on experiments. We'll only have enough to use it once. So we're going to have to stick close. Real close. 
I there's not a particular reason to go buy that helicopter crash in the courtyard. So I'm kind of curious what the cutscene would look like God. if you never go buy it. There are so many. Where on earth could this lead? I don't know. But considering how many of them keep pouring out of here, it must be connected to something. Isabella, look. Any other way out of here is guarded by the military. The fuck is Frank not loaded in? Get out of here and oh my god, Frank's not plan. loaded in, dude. You got to go in there. What the it's fuck? The way. She's talking to a ghost. Right now. Jesus Christ, dude, this is annoying. If I can reload, then I'll do it. If I can't, well, I'm sorry for that chance fucking happening. Time until zombification 2 out. What are you talking about? I took Zombrex. There we go. Oh God. There are so many. Where on earth could this lead? I don't know. But considering how many of them keep pouring out of here, it must be connected to something. Isabella, look. Any other way out of here is guarded by the military. If we're going to get out of here and put a stop to Carlito's plan, we've got to go in there. It's the only way. It's not like we're unarmed. We've got your smelly perfume, don't we? I wouldn't be alive right now if your shot hadn't worked. I mean, didn't we have 24 perfume's hours? Perfume's gonna work too. I know it. All right. Let's go. Yeah. I'm kind of worried now. Time until zombification is two hours. That doesn't make... I really hope that I don't run out of time. Okay. Come on. Uh, how do we get through this? Whoa, hey, 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 easy. How the hell do we get through this? Oh, right here. Sorry, Isabella, sorry. Uh, okay, so I'm now by myself. Very cool. Uh, God. Jesus. For fuck's sake. Okay, holy shit. Come on. Let's go, let's go. Holy shit, there's so many down here, dude. I could probably get quite a few killed uh, if I had some queens with me. Ah, uh, time until zombification. So it's it stays the same time. All right. Well, at least I don't have to worry about that. All right, another one. Whoops. Go ahead. Ah. I keep trying to do the giant swing, but whatever. It's fine. This is one hell of a tunnel built straight to that freaking clock in the courtyard. Wait a minute. 
Real quick. I'm gonna take that. I saw another one around here. No? Yes? Maybe? Right here. Oh, fuck you. Okay. All right, Isabella. Jesus. Hello? Oh, here we go. Are you sure this was a good idea? Oh yeah, I've handled these guys before. If we can get that gate open, they'll be too busy dealing with zombies to notice us slip by. Wait. The pheromone is starting to wear off. It's only strong enough to cover one of us. What are you... Uh, All right, I got you, tight, babe. Okay? Once we're out, let's see if we can't steal ourselves that set of wheels. We wouldn't have to do this if the government would just take responsibility for their actions. Uh, oh my god. Come on, come on. Okay. Damn it. All right. Here we go. I've located a survivor. Oh, the fuck you haven't. Come on, come on, come on, Isabella. Follow me! Don't let him get away! Ouch. Ah, oh, fucking... What happened to them being fucking distracted by the goddamn zombies? Oh, fuck. is up with all these drones? I don't remember these. Well, Frank, you did say the only way out of here other than by a helicopter is in a fucking tank. Unless you plan on riding a tank out of here, I'm afraid you're stuck in Willamette. Huh. Yeah, but... Funny thing to say there. These automated machines are no use at all on the battlefield. Switch to manual control. No shit. Oh, Frank, turn the wheel, man. Main cannon. 
Oh, what? Now you want it to be automated? Oh, shit. Well, what have we here? Where were you hiding when my men mopped up the mall? In your mom's ass. On a mission in which the number of targets is unclear, it's difficult to ensure absolute thoroughness. Huh. You have imagination. That's what drives you in your quest to run. Your quest to hide. What As are you on about? Prey, you and your kind are much more stubborn than the zombies. We're fucking human beings, bro. How much do you know about the zombies? I commanded the Santa Cabeza cleanup operation. I'd say he's pretty fucking familiar. If we had fulfilled our mission then, we wouldn't be needed here now to take care of this incident. That's all it was to you, huh? A mission. What about those innocent people who had to pay for sins committed by our government? Our human mistakes research. have not begun with this operation. <laughs> Humanity has proven itself to be quite adept at making mistakes. Ha! Hell! It's the only thing we truly excel at. Well then, I'd say this mission isn't quite over yet. Don't you agree? What the fuck? Oh shit. It's automatically targeting the zombies. Bitch! Toe to toe now, asshole. Let's go, bitch. All tough guy. Whoa. Damn it. I missed. Uh oh. And I have no weapons on me. Get ready to meet you, Oh! You like that, bitch? Got you, asshole. Come on! Whoop! Fucking sumo throw, bitch! Don't think you can get out of here alive! Bro, you haven't even touched me yet. Uh-oh. Who's laughing now, bitch? Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. It's pointless to resist. Nothing will change. Oh, you're dead. You're already dead. No! Oh! oh! What? They definitely changed that shit. That did not happen in the original. What the fuck? Those moves that you would pull? That did not happen in the original. I mean, he does, he does do this whole thing, I'm pretty sure, or I'm, I thought he just like fell on the tank and like passed out or something. But disemboweling him at the end? Holy shit.
You did it, Frank. You fucking did it. Holy shit, man. <sighs> what an ending, huh? What a fucking ending. Needless to say, they got in the tank and made their way out. I mean, maybe it's not needless to say. That little final cutscene right there doesn't really explain. I mean, obviously, Isabella was in trouble. The other guy died, and Frank seemed like he was at his wit's end, but they made it. Let's just say that, all right? They made it. He somehow, you know, drove up next to the Jeep, got around the tank, and they drove out of there in a fucking tank. And the story will be told. I don't know if there's anything after these credits. I can't quite remember. Uh, I've, I've actually done the true ending so little, but most of that stuck with me. I know that those last parts, I, I'm, I'm almost certain that the special moves, you like those were brand new. Like I, one, I hardly even executed those things on zombies, let alone him as a boss. Like, I don't think you can execute those moves on bosses. <clears throat> um, boss fight went a lot easier than I thought it was going to. Like a ton easier. I mean, I'm I'm also a level 50 right now, so my attack is all the way up, my health is all the way up, uh, all the stats are maxed out, and I don't know that I've ever beaten the game like that with stats maxed out. But um, yeah, that was the whole the whole game itself was pretty. I mean, I won't say it was full on easy, but getting to that level 50 was definitely much easier than it ever was in the original game. I just, I had so much, so much fun. I mean, it, it, even from the beginning of this episode, from, from, you know, last episode explaining that, like, I never thought I would get that many ch challenges, achievements, whatever you want to call them. I never thought getting that many in a single run, let alone the first run back. I mean, that was so jam-packed full of just... That was a good run. That was a really, really good run. Um, God damn, I'm so... I'm satisfied. I mean, it, I, it, I, to me, it was very much well worth it. Do I have some hang-ups? Yes, you know. Uh, <laughs> I guess I'll start with the one that, um, you know maybe shouldn't be as big of a deal to me as it is is the 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 Ty Taiwanese boss uh seemed completely pointless the the the, the butcher the butcher seemed completely completely like useless and run down from the original is this the end of the credits already there's no fucking way well hopefully not because I expect to keep talking here for a while the, yeah, the butcher, boss, replacement, not great. Uh, don't know why the Vietnam vet, um, they took out some of his line. Maybe, maybe some of what he said before was a little racist. Uh, maybe, maybe it wasn't. I don't remember what his lines. It, that, that part didn't really, didn't affect me much. Um, replacing the butcher was a no-go. Brad's voice actor was very very hit and miss mostly miss um holy shit that's it that's all the fucking credits god damn frank west managed to escape the town of willamette with information pertinent to the incident under his belt the news caused a fervor throughout the world, leading the U.S. government to admit at least partial culpability in the livestock research program. However, no connection to the Willamette incident was acknowledged, and the events that occurred there were deemed the work of a fringe terrorist group. The people of the world, as could be expected from the modern culture of news saturation, soon let the Willamette incident fade from their minds. Damn. The authenticity of Carlito's chilling plan to utilize the orphans as his pawns has yet to be confirmed or proven false. And yet he complained that his belly was not 
full. Holy shit. I don't remember that quote at the end. I mean, not like I would memorize that entire string of words or anything, but I just don't remember. That seems so much more daunting than before. There was something at the end of Dead Rising 4 that like Isabella had something to do with it. I don't remember what it was. It get the the story gets kind of muddied after 2. Maybe it was Dead Rising 3. I think it was Dead Rising 3. And then for whatever reason Dead Rising 4 was just absolutely garbage, but Uh, do you want to save your completion data? Yes, I do. Save 17. Yes. Are we going to get stats for our overtime? No. Okay. It's all right. Uh, where was I? What was, what was I talking about? Uh, my gripes. My gripes with the game. <clears throat> uh, Brad's voice actor. Very hit and miss. Mostly miss. Carlito did actually very well. I liked Carlito's voice actor. Isabella uh, was pretty good. Uh, Frank definitely grew on me. I I don't know that I would say, like, I prefer him over the original Frank, but I don't think I could have Frank's old voice actor voice acting this particular, like, image of Frank in my mind anymore because Frank is, like, so much more, like, descriptive of, like, an older guy, like, in, in his late 30s, early 40s. And the voice fits him so much more. And, you know, I got to give props to the voice actor. He did very well. Jesse, uh, she did very well. Um, and most of the survivors did pretty good as, you know, I, I like the some of the usual tropes and like voice lines of, of the dialogues of the characters when they're not in in dialogue, you know, speaking lines when they're not talking to. Frank, um, they, I mean, they, they're, they're more or less like very nostalgic of the original game and they hit all the marks. It's just, there's a few key characters in this that didn't hit like they did before the gun store owner, the superstore clerk, fucking Brad, fucking, um, uh, Joe, the police officer. I feel like that one could be a give or take. It, it, I, I do remember the original uh, police officer, Joe, having a bit of like, a, I don't know, there was a, an additional like, there was an additional sort of phonic to her voice or like a lisp type thing that she did where she was talking like this. Something about it. I don't know. It just, uh, I, but it, I, again, I was surprised that they left in as much as they did at all with that, given that they took out the erotic uh, gameplay mechanic of the, of the photos. Um, Kent did well, I think. Um, that one, I, I think, also could be a give or take. Uh, and then, you know, there's, there's maybe a few others out there. I don't want to sit here and go through the entire fucking cast, but... Uh, it... I think it balanced out in the sense it's not enough for me to say that like it ruined it ruined anything for me. It was disappointing at times and the infliction of some different dialogue lines that were very important to me uh, may not have hit as well. But overall, the entire experience, I mean, getting to experience it in in a way that's like super brushed up and and looks you know somewhat modern it it the whole thing was it was worth it honestly um i felt like felt like a teenager again going through this whole game um and, and even as advanced as the ai had become as everybody had touted that you know the ai survivors are so much better now there were still some pretty heated moments throughout this entire game. I mean, definitely the special forces guys, those guys beat this shit out of me multiple times. And then trying to guide the AI survivors, 
they are nearly as dumb as I remember them. Maybe not as dumb. Maybe, maybe if I went back and played the original, I would be tearing my hair out, but oh my god. It got pretty intense sometimes. I, uh... Yeah, it's just, it's... Obviously, the story's not super, like, there's there's plenty of plot holes that you could call out. I mean, again, this was a story game back in 2006. 2007, 2006, like, it's, uh... It, it wasn't the most, like, robust Hollywood, you know... I mean, even Hollywood doesn't have the most, you know, foolproof plots anymore. But it it was it was a step in that sort of direction, and it had very creepy elements, it had very silly elements, and overall, it jump started one of the most important and iconic series in all of Capcom. And um, I I just I was I'm I guess I'm grateful that I play the original and I'm I'm grateful that they made this remaster in order to to be able to re-experience that and you know it is kind of I, I said it in an earlier episode but this really is and could only ever be I think I've settled my mind on it is a remaster it could never be a remake it is there's been so many parts of this that have been brushed up and and like you know a couple different mechanics that like some people will say that it's like it's basically a remake to me what a remake is is like what you see with Final Fantasy 7 where the entire game is literally rebuilt in a different engine from the ground up the cutscenes would have to be different they you know like absolutely everything the, the dialogue lines that is a remake you know but uh, I I guess I guess fucking Last of Us got a, a away with calling theirs a remake, and I mean theirs looked kick ass. But I, if they had changed anything apart from the main story, like they they would have lost, you know, so much. It would, the the original was iconic, and and what I mean to say about this is that you can't change the way this game operates, Dead Rising, because it's so iconic. The way that it you know it originally launched and the foothold it has on people and just the the play style again being creepy but silly at the same time i don't think you can remake that in a way that's more like that's better than what they already did it's it truly is just like the uh, they hit it on the mark for the very first time and they may not have been trying but they couldn't have done it any better. And I don't think, I don't think another, like if they took another crack at it, I don't think it would do them any good. I think they would probably mess it up. And, and so I, I like, you know, they're, they're Capcom's out there making uh, remakes of, of the Resident Evil games. Th those are different. Aside from that, this, this is just something that can't be touched. And I, I think it's very special that way. Um, who knows? Maybe I'll eat my words in like 10 years in there. Or on the 20th anniversary or 30th anniversary, they'll come out with a remake of, of Dead Rising. And they'll reboot the series. Who knows? And maybe it'll be good. I would anticipate it would be bad. But maybe that's, you know, maybe that'll be my boomer opinion by then. <sighs> Regardless, um... I had such a great time, and I hope you did too. I, I really don't know that I can praise this game much more. Uh, I there's I can't really gripe about anything that I haven't already said. Um, you know, with as many achievements as I've gone through, maybe I'll even go back, do a second run, and get the rest of those achievements. I mean, I've only got a handful left. Do, will it even show me here in the in the menu? I don't think it will. If I hit continue, what does that do? Okay, it's just back at the... Back at the final fight. So if I start a new game, it would have to be 72 hour mode, right? Because in infinity mode, I think that's just quite literally uh, only zombies, no survivors. Let me look that up to make sure. 
I think that is one thing maybe I only tried once but never did afterwards was infinity mode is it, it changes the game entirely so food and drink items in the mall don't respawn um seance food and stuff is is closed and the maintenance tunnels uh door uh the maintenance tunnels door lock to seance is broken there's no game save ability uh and frank's watch and camera are inaccessible and psychopaths and survivors appear at different locations than during 72 hour modes that's really interesting too i wonder also cardboard boxes and garbage cans never have food in them so it seems like there's a good number of survivors you would have to do it in 72 hour mode you'd have to get all 50 but you'd also have to do ending b which allows you to have 48 survivors and then the extra four come from jesse brad isabella and otis because if you never do the the last resort mission then uh brad never turns into a zombie neither does jesse uh isabella and otis go with you on the helicopter on at the end of day three so yeah that it, it sounds like the game was destined to to like be more than one playthrough but maybe i would do another 72 hour mode and then there's two achievements five day survivor and seven day survivor which can only be achieved in infinity mode and um i imagine you probably can't skip time in that one who knows maybe one day I'll, I'll i'll live stream it or fucking i don't know i don't know but uh regardless i i think i think i've said my piece i had a lot of fun hope you did too and i'm gonna end that one right here if you made it to this part of the video and you're not subscribed already you might as well subscribe because why the hell not and if you wouldn't mind leaving a like on your way out the door that'd be sincerely appreciated as always if you do plan on sticking around i hope you see me in the next one. Thanks again.